Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. Sunday, December the 30th, the year 2018. Let's talk trading. Weekly opening gap. Now, as you all know, we've only got, what, one more trading day left this year? Money and risk management. Let's, let's get it right. Last day. Okay, we got the Euro Yen, 73 pips off the uh, monthly bottom. Looks like we're, doesn't look like we're going to close uh, above the previous month's low. The weekly, looks like we're in and out of the wick zone. We've got pretty much a doji last week there. And let's see, we still have some open gaps. So for those of you who like to trade those weekly gaps you still have opportunities on the daily you see we opened outside that low outside that lower wick zone and we're back into the candle body there really wasn't much of a lower wick zone and the buy zone you see we've already took out the pivot there's that pivot and there's the open down here you can see with the long bias, it was a nice trade. Rat zone, we can't play the rat zone, only 38 pips of range right now. Okay. Let me expand this chart here. Here's the weekly pivot. So we already hit the weekly pivot. There's the daily pivot. We hit the daily pivot. And the monthly pivot is where? Way up here. 128.70. Anything can happen, of course. So it's possible that we take out that pivot this week. On the daily, just those two missed pivots for the entire year. Just two missed pivots or open pivots. As you can see here, the H1 put in a two ball, green at the line, good for 20 pips. Here we got a one ball, couple red at the lines, Larry live trade right there. You can see you're up about three pips at the moment. Going along at the horizontal line there, previous days low and close. Like I said, there's not much separation there. The wick zone, once again, there really wasn't much of one in and out. Holo zone, you see we put it put in a holo, the highest open at 126.35. Couple opportunities to get short. You're up about 10 pips if you took that trade. And here's a couple other short opportunities using the inventory retracement bars. Uh, M15 short at 31. H1 short there at 26.30. And more horizontal lines. Previous daily, weekly, monthly, open, high, low. Right there, candle color across previous week's open. Proved to be profitable. Looking at the um, tick chart here, you can see not much movement since I opened up. And I don't expect there to be too much movement considering tomorrow's New Year's Eve. Technically, where some places are open, it's already New Year's Eve. You can see here, Larry Live Trade short. A lot of selling happening at the moment. Uh, inside bar, you can see the previous daily session was an inside bar. So look for breaks at the 127 and then the 126.13, making those daily inside bar breakouts. 
and you can see here this was the day one of the month you can see the price action now we had that breakout <clears throat> to the downside slight breakout to the upside but it was down 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 in fact I had a trader pay me a compliment saying that my rule of thumb only trading long when the daily and weekly are green and only trading short when the daily and weekly are red is making this trader profitable on frequency distribution of the range you can see once again you now over 80 percent of the time it's going to be 10 or more so you look to see or you look for these h1 bars to be 10 or more pips well i'll just keep it short and sweet it's sunday if you haven't traded any of those gaps they're still out there you can still take advantage of it and just remember as you're trading actually before i say that there's something i want to know and i'll put it in tomorrow's video too i do believe would you like me to continue doing these videos the way i've been doing them same see looking at the same charts and screens or would you like me to start fresh totally different charts where you can join in from the get-go um what, what am i talking about this chart for one where we look at this chart and we uh, do that on a daily basis looking for trades and maybe you know trading those inside bars some more so tell me what you think and as I was about to say just remember it's not what you trade it's how you trade it so go out there when you're trading and drain the banks <laughs>